Hello, Spencer with Townline Equipment. Today we're going to do a video on the mechanical layout of this SSV 75. We're going to start at the back and our work our way forward. So the SSV family, both the 75 and the 65, have a full rear door hatch. On the back of the hatch is your fuel tank. As you can notice, um, the battery on these SSVs is located on the side here, and you are able to take that battery in and out of the machine without taking anything uh, off in front of it. Uh, there's some previous models of skid steers where the battery would be inside the side frame, making it quite difficult to get it out. Uh, the top of the SSV has this protective guard over your coolant bank, and that has a single lever as a latch, and then it can be removed completely. The first level of your coolant system here also can be raised. So if this isn't an agricultural application, if you had any hay or dust from the barn, if you lift this up, latch it in place, now you can blow out the second tier of the coolant bank. Also with the side back cover off, you have access from the front of it. To put everything back together, little rod goes in. This has its own latches to keep it down. Back plate goes on first. Top cover. And the single lock on the top, whole back door, closes. The first filter we'll notice is the oil filter on the left side of the block. And right underneath it is a hatch that the oil can go through. The hoses that I just moved out of the way, these are all drains for the different fluids inside the motor. On the right side, the water separators on the back being the first one to access. Directly behind it is your primary fuel filter. Below that is the oil filter. And up top on the right is the air filter, which is a dual element. Your engine oil fill is on the top. Dipsticks on the left side. Same with the battery. The last filter is actually placed on the side of the machine here underneath the cap. The cab itself pivots on two bushings on the back and is held in the front with two bolts. Once those bolts have been taken out, the operator can step off, flip the cab up, and it'll latch in place. Once the cab is up, you have access to the motors and your last filter. All right, now with the cab up in the air, We'd have access to our primary hydraulic filter, the DPF in the back, your pump stack down the center, each drive motor on both sides, and towards the front, this is your fuse box covered with a dust cap. If this video has generated questions about the family of SSV skid steers, please reach out to us at info at townlineequipment.com or visit our website, Townline Equipment. For more videos like this, please visit our Facebook page. Thank you. Have a good day.